All right, carbon clinches. There are so many horror stories about carbon clinches and how bad they are. Everyone was going, oh, carbon clinches, you're gonna crash in the wet, they're gonna overheat, they're gonna explode. So anyway, here's some footage going down Doyentanon. I've deleted some of the other footage, so this is all I have. But it was a long section where I was breaking at, you know, 10, 15%. Uh, you know, for a couple of kilometers, maybe a bit more. I mean, it's 5.6K at 12%, so that's the sort of thing we're dealing with. But anyway, I just literally haven't found any problems with carbon clinches, like, at all. Like, maybe my rims, I think my rims might be a little bit, like, worn or whatever, but in terms of braking, like, stopping, they're literally, like, the same as my alloy clinches before, like, literally identical. In the wet, I, I find they're pretty identical as well, maybe a little bit worse. I'm, I have the giant SLR one, 35 millimeter climbing wheels. Uh, they came stock with my bicycle. And yeah, I don't really find them to be a problem. Like, they just feel so much better than alloy wheels. Like, the alloy wheels I had before were like the Campagnolo Skirocco. So, obviously, they're not like the same wheel sets in terms of price. But, like, seriously, I don't really understand this whole like scare story. I know so many people are like, oh, I never ride carbon clinches down mountains and all this stuff. And I used to think that as well. But, like, actually, having done it, it's like, it's all chill. Like, for reference, I am 60 kilos, so, you know, I'm pretty light in comparison to some people, but, like, not mega light. Like, I mean, most of these, like, carbon wheels have, like, you know, weight rider limits of, like, 100 kilos or whatever. But I, I don't know. I mean, like, unless you brake like an idiot and you literally just hold your brakes down the whole time, like, your rim's just not going to explode. Like, I don't really get it. Like, obviously, it's not mega hot in this situation, but, like, I just... I don't know. I feel very safe on them. The braking is good. Like... On discs, obviously discs are nicer in some ways, the modulation is, is definitely nicer, but I mean if we're just comparing rims to rims, like rim brakes alloy to carbon, I really don't see like what the problem is with uh, carbon wheels. Um, if anyone would like to comment on their experience with carbon wheels, that would be good. Has anyone had an absolute nightmare? Because for me they've just been beautiful, like they climb so nice. Like that acceleration you have, like ah, oh, it's so good. The first time I rode the bike I was like, fuck, the acceleration of the wheels. like. I mean, there'll be a lot of people telling you carbon wheels don't matter, but I can guarantee you those people who tell you that carbon wheels don't matter are riding carbon wheels. Because um, people love doing that. Like, once you ride them, like, I guess you don't need to have carbon wheels. But what I'm saying is there's the drawbacks that everyone says are just, just aren't there, in my opinion. I just have yet to find them. The braking is good in the wet and the dry, and my rims don't overheat, really. So it's all good. Um, and I just think a lot of people, yeah, like to put scare stories on to get YouTube views. For me, it just, just quite frankly has not happened. They have been drama free and I've loved them so far. Um, just feel so good to fucking ride our clients. Like when it gets to 20%, it's fucking like spin over so nice. It's just like maybe the time difference is not that much, but the fucking sensations of those wheels are oh, until you've ridden real light. Like mine aren't even that light, but they just, they're just like still lightish, maybe 13, 1400 grams. And they just feel so good. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video and my my thoughts on carbon clinches for me being fucking perfect. Um, have you had any carbon clincher nightmares? That is the question that I want to want to see in the comment section. So anyway, cheers for watching, and I will see you in the next video.